What is going on guys? Welcome to your 48th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through some of the more common actions in Kismet because check it out. If we go ahead and right click and try to add a new action, let me just scroll through one of these. Um, assign controller, actor factory EX, uh, MITV, activate, what the heck is set scale control? see a lot of those can get kind of confusing and you really don't have any idea because they aren't really described very well just from the title of them so what I want to do is I want to go over some of the more basic ones and give you guys a really good foundation of working with Kismet and then whenever you're looking for something really specific you can get kind of a better idea of where to look and how it works but for now I'm not going to be going every over every single action and event, but I am going to be giving you guys a really nice foundation to work with. So let me go ahead and tell you guys what's going on. I moved back to this map. Remember this old map where you just go ahead and hit that switch and turn on the light? Well, that's the map I'm going to be working with because it's a really simple system, a trigger, and something that happens. It's a really simple example where I can demonstrate some of the more basic features of Kismet. So first of all, let me clean this up by deleting the sound and might as well just go ahead and delete these by holding Alt and clicking. And now if I hold Control and Alt and then Control to move that around. So now what we have is a trigger, that light switch, and the lights that can turn on whenever I hit this and off whenever I hit this. So the very first action I'm going to be adding is something called a delay. Now use this a ton whenever you're making games. So in order to use this, just go ahead and right click new action and it's actually under miscellaneous and it's called a delay. Now delay works exactly like you would think, but there's a couple weird tricks that I got to teach you guys about. First of all, whenever you have a delay. I guess I might as well tell you guys what a delay is for those of you guys who just need a definition. Delay is pretty much a pause or a time period where you have to wait in your game. So by default, if you just go ahead and touch that trigger and start your delay, it's going to wait one second. By default, it already has a second plug in there, but we can change that if we want. And whenever it's finished waiting a second, it's going to go ahead and turn your lights on. Now, like I said, by default, it's at one second, but whenever you're watching this video, one second may be hard to kind of determine. So let's go ahead and change that to three seconds. So let me go ahead and X out of this, and I'm just going to hit play from here. And now check it out. Whenever I hit my switch, it's going to count one, two, three, and then my lights are going to come on. So that's all a delay is. So we're saying, all right, what are those weird things that you needed to teach me? Well, first of all, it has some other settings here besides start and finish. You also have a stop. Now, whenever you want something to happen for you know a period of three seconds, you can also program something to interrupt that. For example, if you ever played World of Warcraft or something, and you know you had to skin an animal and it took like three seconds, or if you were conjuring a spell before you used it you know getting all that power together and it took three seconds but when you're in the middle of it some monster came and you know threw an apple at you your spell would cancel out well whenever whatever you were doing is stopped then it would not go to finish because the delay never finished that would actually go to aborted so you'd say alright if you back away from the light switch then this would stop and you know this would abort so you could do whatever you want then um, pause is of course pause the delay you know what that means so you already know what finish and aborted means finish means the delay ended successfully aborted means something happened where it ended early and this duration right here like I said you have the option of adding a delay right in the properties window right here but you also have the option of adding a variable now remember anything on the bottom of these actions are variables and what blue means, you see that this one's a pink triangle, this one's blue, this one is pink, and these are red. Blue means float. Now, you just kind of got to memorize these, but if you go ahead and add a new variable and a float, a float is pretty much a number with decimal points on it. So we can go ahead and give it a duration this way by just adding, you know, 5.0. And now your delay is 5.0. So again, you can do this either in the properties window or by adding a variable and by the way a variable is just extra information that your action needs 
So I was actually planning on covering something called a gate in this tutorial, but I don't even know if I'm going to have time for that now. So now that you guys are a pro with the delay, pretty much a timer in the UDK, you're ready to move on to my next tutorial. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then.